everybody welcome back to another video yo what day is it it's Thursday boom I know what day it is in your face calendar wrecked so today I'm continuing my not a fan of series now like I said in the last one if you haven't seen my videos basically I'm showing guitar players that maybe you're not a fan of maybe you are a fan of the first one Jimi Hendrix I started out not being a fan of and through SRV I really became a huge Hendrix fan like I love Hendrix now uh, we talked about Angus. Maybe you weren't an Angus fan, so you can check out those videos if you want to. But today we're talking about SRV. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight some really cool things to take away and to steal from Stevie's playing. Maybe you're not a fan. Maybe you don't like blues. Maybe you're just not an SRV fan. It's cool. You know, you don't have to like everyone. But give them a second chance here. I'm going to show you some, some very crucial parts that I took away from them. These really important concepts and licks. Tabs are going to be linked down below if you want to check that out. And, uh, yo, let's just jump into it. Yo, let's get our SRV on. All right, so we're gonna talk about for one uh, Stevie's tone. Now I don't have a very SRV, you know, ish tone. Not even, not even like his Lenny tone. Like I have a very reverby, delay. -y. I'll turn the delay off for now. Uh, tone, but it's still not totally like an SRV style tone. Now what I'm talking about though is the tone of the way he delivers notes, his touch on notes, all these little things. It's really his feel, you know. And there's a lot of little things that he does that I think is really, really cool. Now, um, again, I'm not talking about amps or any of that kind of stuff, but for one, he uses his fingers a lot. You know, I would always hear him do these particular bends, um, you know. I don't know if that's like an Albert King thing, but I never really understood how he got this plucky sound out of it. You know, it didn't sound like a pick to me, but I didn't know what he was doing. Uh, it wasn't, uh, funny enough, it wasn't until later I heard Richie Kotzen doing that. And I saw him doing it, and I'm like, hey, that's the Stevie Ray Vaughan thing. You know, like, I, it finally, I finally realized how he was doing it. And from that point on, uh, I, you know, I, I do it all the time now. Uh, it's just a different, a different sound to it, you know? So right away, that's one thing right there. Let me try to get back to this. Uh, position four sound that I like. So already that's one thing. If you're not used to using your fingers, it's not like a hybrid picking thing. Um, and, you know, and Stevie does all kinds of other stuff too, but it's more of like a dedicated use of your fingers. So just take a note and, and pick it and, and do this kind of lick here and go. That, like, that, that Albert King thing, I think that's who it's from anyways. Um, it's just like A minor pentatonic. So I'm on 10th fret, I'm bending it up, bending it. That's with a pick. Now listen to it with your fingers when you're really plucking it. There's a different dynamic to it. There's a different tone. And mine's probably getting a little bit washed out through the reverb. But if you're on this bridge pickup, uh, you can really hear it. Listen, that's fingers, now the pick. Different sounds, you know? Like I said, it's all about getting that the different dynamics and touch. Now the other thing he did a lot that I thought was really, really cool, this is, again, I totally got this from Stevie. Um, it's kind of just more like a bluesy thing. But the way he slid in and out of notes, he wasn't always, you know, a classic blues player, he used his three fingers a lot more than using his pinky. Now again, I'm not saying these are SRV licks, but think about that. You know, anytime you're gonna go to a note, go maybe slide into the note you know doing that now another thing that I thought was, it was really cool this is the final thing I'll show you on this section and we'll get to the next part but um was basically he did this uh he does it at different places I think it might be in uh Lenny I'm not sure which song it was in he go this little thing here's like a like a super double stop you know because they're not next to each other but I imagine he's plucking with his fingers. That's the only way I could think to do it. Um, but ever since I learned this lick years ago, I utilize it all the time because it just—it's so tasty. And um, and basically, what I'm doing is I'm holding down fifth fret on the G and the high E string, and I just do like a normal like blues loop. So 
So I go five and five, playing together, seven and five. And then I do seven and five again, and I hammer on eight. Now you can do lots of different variations with this, you know. I do that move a lot. You know, it just, I don't know, it's such a cool little thing that I heard, I heard him do, and there's, there's a million things to take away from Stevie, but there's just a couple. Some chords! Now, Stevie did all kinds of cool chords. I'm going to show you a, a few of them here. Uh, of course, the classic Lenny chord that every you, you hear across every music store ever, um, in the background somewhere. And um, a, a few other ones. If you listen to that intro I played, to me it didn't sound very Stevie, but... Um, I, I was totally taking it from SRV, it's this chord. And I found something that's really interesting about his chords, is you almost, they're fun to play without looking at where you're going, just to move them around. They're very movable shapes. So you can play them all over the place. And I originally thought he did this chord with his thumb. My thumb's kind of shot right now. So I learned how to do all, a lot of these chords with my thumb, and then I saw him when I'm like, oh man, he's not using his thumb. <laughs> So let's talk about that Lenny chord. Everyone plays this chord. Um, try to get my guitar in the right position. Hashtag three-way switch life. Now this chord, I, I, I guess I don't technically know what it is. It really sounds like a major seven with um, a six on top. So, you know, E major seven add six. Is that a chord? If it is, boom, nailed it in your face, music books. So if you think about it, you've got your root, your major third, there's your major seven, there's your root again, there's your two, so there's your add nine vibe to it. Uh, no fifth. So, I don't know, maybe that does something funky with the chord that I don't know. Someone can tell me below, but to my mind, I'm looking at it as an E major seven, add nine. And then the other chord that he does a lot is this one. Which I would just, E six? I don't know, like I said, I'm not the best with that kind of stuff. But they're very movable shapes. If you want this shape, you don't already know how to play Lenny. Uh, it's 12 on the low E string. Now, like I said, I learned originally how to do it like this with my thumb. But um, I'm pretty sure Stevie uses his middle finger. So you use your middle finger for 12 on the low E string, 11 on the D, 13 on the G, 12 on the high E or on the B string. Okay, and you can move this shape around. He does a lot in Lenny. He literally goes from the E. to the A, goes up to B, move it all over the place. It's just a fun one to move around. So right away, that, that's already a cool chord. I'm like, all right, you got me. Cool chords in the house. Another song that just has such nice chords in it, um, Rivera Paradise, is, is so many cool things. I, one of the coolest things ever, ever heard in my life. I love this. And I actually stole this chord, just a major seven. Um, I, I originally got this chord from Spanish Fly. You know, when Eddie does that... Does that kind of move? Well, SRV does this move in uh, Rivera Paradise where he does this really cool part where he walks down, of course. But then when it goes into that main section where the band comes in, he does this walk down. And I still, when I heard it, I'm like, I have to learn what that is. It goes. No clue what's going on here. I've never tried to figure it out. I just know that I love the way that it sounds. So he starts out right here. Basically, it's like a C major seven. And what he does, um, so we're gonna go 10 on the D, nine on the G, eight on the B, seven on high string. Now he picks up his middle finger and moves his index finger. Maybe he bars the whole thing from the beginning, I'm not sure. This is just the way that I do it. Um, now what happens is it's 10, nine, seven, seven. Another cool chord. Okay, but wait, he's not done yet. He's like, no, no, I got lots of cool chords here for you, all in like two seconds. You're gonna pick up your ring finger and then you continue to bar 10, seven, seven, seven. Oh, hit, hit my switch. We're just gonna have to live with the neck position. And then he puts his middle finger down and he goes like, he's like, no, no, there's one more in here for you. And then 
again. Let's talk about what this chord is. Okay, so he does it up here originally, and he just keeps moving it up. Another cool thing, again, he just takes these chords and he moves them down like a whole step, whole step, half step. It's so fascinating, and it just sounds so good. So again, let's look at this. What chord are we playing here? What is this chord? Good golly, Miss Molly. It's a major seven. <laughs> it's like always major seven. Some version of it anyways. So he's at 10 uh, on the A string, nine on the D, seven on the B, or sorry, uh, seven on the G and the B. Let me see what. Okay, and then he walks down again. Same chord shape. Moves it down a full step. Does it again. Sorry. Okay. And then he goes, eventually he goes to, um, and what's that, what's the last one? I can't remember it. Um, I never can get that harmonic right. Riddled with cool chords. Learn some of his chords. I'm telling you, you will not regret that. All right, now one of the most important things I ever took away from SRV, like I said, I love, love Stevie's playing. But um, if you're not a fan, one of the big things you can take away, which uh, my Band-Aid is like, oh, look, it's so janky. <laughs> it's like falling off my finger. Um, is his left hand muting. I remember when I would teach people, um, I'd be playing power chords and I'd be... And I'd be just kind of like strumming the whole guitar and, you know, beginners and stuff would be like, how are you doing that? Like, you know, a beginner will be very stiff because they're trying to not hit the other strings and I'm just freely strumming and hitting the other strings and I don't care. What that's all from is from Stevie. Learning how to he, he left hand muted because if you listen to his style, it's so percussive. <laughs> that aggressive sound without really smacking the guitar and needing to learn how to control and mute the strings. So, um, you know, I use my thumb over the neck, again, band-aid, a little bit, a little bit uh, janky right now. But that's why I lay my fingers across the guitar like this too. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but like if I'm playing the D string and I want to get that more percussive sound, well, I'm actually muting the G, B, and high E string underneath that fifth fret on the D. Here. But hear how you only hear the fretted note, and it's kind of like tucked away with the percussive sound. But the most dominating, uh, blah, most dominating note is that one. stuff like this get on it it's so crucial and I use my thumb uh, usually band-aid uh, to mute the top string so I can really and I can kind of let that I'm playing an A so I'll let the A note in there sometimes when I want to fatten it up or if I'm in B When I do power chords, that's how I do it. I, I rest my fingers across the strings and I use my pointer finger to mute the low E string. And then... It keeps you from sounding very stiff. It gives you a much more looser style because you're not really worried about what strings you are or aren't hitting because you're just kind of hitting them all freely, but you're muting the ones you don't want to like to really like sound prominent in it all. Like, listen to, like, uh, you know, Cold, cold Shot, Cogent, well, whatever the song's called, Cold Gen. that's the, get my Kiss and SRV songs mixed up. But, um, listen to a lot of his stuff, man. You know, all of that is that, that circle raking.
guys go. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. SRV is undoubtedly the man. Uh, there are guys who play, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan influence stuff way, way better than I do. Like I said, I've never been that guy who just kind of like deconstructed someone's style. I just, I, I would hear them play. I, I've spent more time listening to SRV than breaking down every single little thing that he did. It was more of, I, I loved hearing the concepts and I tried to incorporate that into my own playing. So um, other than that, guys, I uh, actually get the tabs down below. Let me know if you like these, this whole series. I'll keep doing them. And uh, I'll play you guys some rhythm out here. I'll just give you something chill. And uh, maybe I'll do that beginning riff thing that I came up with. And uh, I'll just see you on Saturday. New video, yo. Get it!